it's hard to sit there. It stops on her. Right. Oh, is your light down on your phone? Is that maybe it? It might be all the way up. Yeah, it's all the way up. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It was, we were surrounded by people. So I'm sorry. Oh, look, when I do this, it's like a picture of us. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, there we go. Can you hit the, can you hit the camera button on my phone? On my phone. You got it? Uh-huh. And then, here, let me go to video. I'm getting calls from oh, gosh. all sorts of news now. Jesus Christ Almighty. Uh, if you hold it in that position, I can actually record the video. Yeah, I got it. Um, okay, left. Like this? Uh, turn it. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is what happens, I guess, huh? You're a reporter, you would know. Yeah. So people are trying to get the video now. Okay, and then we'll tilt it down. It's going to keep doing this. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, it'll get to me. Okay, hold on. Let me just get an interview with him for what he saw. Can I talk to you? Can you just start with your first and last name and where you're from? Yeah, I'm Thomas Barani from New Jersey. Can you show us your hand? Yeah. How did you get that on your hand? Well, we had uh, stormed into the, the chambers inside, and there was a young lady who rushed through the windows. A number of police and Secret Service were saying, get back get down, get out of the way. She didn't heed the call, and as we kind of raced up to grab people and pull them back, they shot her in the neck, and she fell back on me and started saying she was fine, it's cool, and then she started kind of like moving weird, and blood was coming out of her mouth and neck and nose, and I don't know if she's alive or dead anymore. And how did you get back out of the building? Uh, riot, riot police came in and started.